My name is Rogério Coria, philosopher and writer born in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. For having lived my childhood and youth in the countryside and loving the culture of the backcountry, I have been participating in ox cart parties since 1994. Currently there are several ox cart parties around the country. In the dialogues derived between me and the paths and lamps, they are the ones who lead the oxen. I have always been able to see how passionate they are for the culture of the backcountry. Many do not know the history of ox carts. From now on I will talk a little about it. As for the invention of the ox cart, the first known ox cart model made by culture Harappa in the Indo or Sindh Valley, India, more than 5,000 years old. It should also be noted that they have very clear traces of the existence of ox carts around 7,500 years ago. There are also 6,000 year old written documents. I use the car throughout Asia, from the Mediterranean Sea edge to the Pacific Ocean beaches, from Egypt to China, with applications in the arts of peace and war. The ox carts associated with the change have undergone changes compared to today. The engineering of the cars underwent derivations to adapt to the terrain, the environment, the type of product to be transported and a local culture. It must be remembered that its use is related to certain factors, such as climate, geological structure, relief, altitude, etc. As for Brazil, the ox cart was the first vehicle to travel through the lands of our country. The Portuguese brought it to transport construction materials, products extracted from the land, such as wood and many other utilities. Since the beginning of our colonization, the ox cart was present in all the mobilization of our economic wealth, if not even in all of our evolution, together with the horse and other domesticated animals. But it is not known exactly what year he arrived in Brazil. We have reports that he was already here in the middle of the 16th century. At the height of the salt trade transported by ox carts to state of Minas Gerais, Goiás and Mato Grosso, there were approximately 2,500 ox carts that made a long journey that collapsed weeks to be covered. As a result of this activity, transport of other goods, constant passage through the roads of the provincial interiors, the guide, the ox cart and traperos advance an important role for the development of these localities. From 1939 to 1940 a census was carried out to check how many ox carts in use there were and at that time had 53,073. Subsequently, with the transport by railways, waterways and highways, the use of ox carts decreased rapidly and was replaced by other means of transport faster and with greater capacity. In this way, many thought that, with modern means of transport and technological evolution, ox carts and their peculiar songs would disappear and would only be found in museums, canvases or forgotten on old farms. However, there was a reinvention for the use of ox carts. They left the toil to celebrate it. Today festivities with ox carts are part of the civic calendar of several Brazilian cities. Finally, we have to remember with great affection that it was thanks to the ox carts that since the settlement and colonization of our lands as an important means of transport he has witnessed historical moments, be it in the sugar mills, in the transport of goods, in the constructions. He was a kind of king in the highlands and fields of Brazil for almost two millennia. His unique and unmistakable singing portrays how much he was and is important to the backcountry. Save the country culture. Save the ox cart.